Brunei Darussalam's efforts and measures in facing and curbing the COVID-19 pandemic has been recognized and was highly praised as the country continues to record no new active case for over two months. In an interview with RTB via Skype, Her Excellency the Right Honourable Patricia Scotland QC, Secretary General of the Commonwealth of Nations, said what His Majesty the Sultan and Yngdi Pratuan of Brunei Darussalam and the government did to place the interests and safety of the people as a priority was truly astounding and should be made as an example. Brunei was one of, is one of the few countries that has experienced positive economic growth uh, this year. And although the great rate, growth rate has dropped, it has still uh, continued. It's still about 1.29, uh, although it was 3.8 last year. Intra-Commonwealth trade is a significant part of Brunei Dar es Salaam's um, economy. In 2018, uh, Commonwealth countries accounted for one third of Brunei's trade, both imports and exports. And while the global outlook looks bleak, in between 2010 and 2018, we saw a growth in services in our Commonwealth by about 8%, when the rest of the world was doing 5.5%. So we think we can leverage this intra Commonwealth. Uh, advantage to push our inter-Commonwealth trade up higher. We're hoping that by 2030, we might push it to about two trillion. We have a lot to do, but this connectivity agenda and Brunei Dar es Salaam is part of that. We are certainly hoping that some of the things that Brunei Dar es Salaam has done can be emulated by some of our other countries because Brunei has radically uh, changed and modernized your economy and some of the lessons that you have been able to learn those are the lessons that we need to share amongst ourselves same with Her Excellency the Right Honorable also delivered a special mes message in conjunction with His Majesty's 74th birthday I can speak directly to so say, Your Majesty, uh, the Sultan of Brunei Dar es Salaam, I am so pleased to be able to wish you a happy 74th birthday. And I offer my very best wishes for your continued good health and peace. Your Majesty, as is customary when celebrating a birthday, I take this opportunity to acknowledge and commemorate your life and achievements, particularly since assuming the mantle of leadership of your beautiful country 52 years ago. I commend your foresight and leadership while guiding your country to independence, which was achieved in 1984 when Brunei Dar es Salaam also joined the Commonwealth Family of Nations.